Here's James. James is a very proud engine. He is always showing off. He likes to be the center of attention. I am just the brightest engine on Sodor. Uh-oh! You overshot the platform, James. I know. Sometimes I'm just too fast for my own good. Oh, that new engine is such a show-off. All he ever talks about is himself. A show-off? <laughs> That's funny coming from you, James. I'm such a splendid engine, Thomas. I shouldn't be pulling dirty, dusty old trucks. Pulling the mail train is a job for a small engine, not a splendid tender engine like me. James found the flying kipper very difficult when he pulled it. I did not. It was just smelly. Oh. Oh. The fat controller says I need to change my attitude. I want to be useful. And no more sulking. I'll be on my best behaviour. So James tried to change his attitude. And he still had to pull trucks and do the jobs he didn't like doing. But whenever he started to look sulky again, his friends helped to remind him. <laughs> 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 That's it, James. That's much better. What do you mean? He means you're changing your attitude. And so that was how James learned to change his attitude. Oh, oh. Ah, see you later, lazy boiler. But not for long. <laughs> 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 does an engine have to do to get some coaches around here? Here you go, James. Yes, very shiny, just the way I like them. James is a mixed traffic engine. This means that he is equally good at pulling coaches and pulling goods trains. Some engines enjoy pulling goods trains, but not James. He only likes pulling coaches and wishes that was the kind of work he did all the time. Ta-da! <laughs> Here's... James! I have had nothing but complaints about you all day. I'm sorry I was so grumpy earlier, sir. I really would like a job today. Mm. I want to be useful. The sooner I get these trucks to Vickers Town, the sooner I can get back to pulling coaches. I know what I'm doing. I go this fast all the time. Don't you worry. I'll be collecting quite a few more trucks before I leave. Just you wait and see. trucks are you taking? <laughs> Pulling trucks may not be his favourite job. And James knows that he can't always do the jobs he likes best. But so long as the sun is shining, he is a very splendid-looking bright red engine indeed. We'll need an engine to take us there. Oh, oh, me, sir. Maybe I could take oh, you, sir. Please, please. I would be honoured. You should be carried by a really splendid engine, like me, sir. <laughs> Typical James, always trying to get the best jobs. Well, James was the first to speak up, so he gets the job. Oh, thank you, sir. Just so long as you get the rest of your work done in time, James. I won't let you down, sir. Oh, oh. 
James was as good as his word. He worked extra hard all day. Hmm. What is it? Um, just a little scratch on your paintwork. Oh, a scratch. A scratch! Victor, Victor, I have a special job tonight and I need to be repainted right now! But your paint won't be dry. It's a very windy evening, so that, plus my speed, should dry my paint in no time. As James had predicted, it was very windy indeed. But unfortunately... Here's James! Well, Edward, what do you think? What? What's the matter? Oh, James. Oh, I should have ignored that little scratch. I'm sorry, sir. But Edward told me all about what happened. I hear you worked very hard all day, James, and completed every job you had been given. Oh, hello, Your Worshipfulness. <laughs> hello, James. Would you like to take me to a dinner in Vickerstown tonight, James? I'd be honoured, Mr Mayor. James felt very proud to be taking the mayor to Vickerstown. You do look splendid tonight, James. Thank you, Edward. I know. <laughs> One evening, James was telling scary stories in Tidmouth sheds. And then the ghost train. <gasps> James! Percy doesn't like your stories. Well, it's not my fault if Percy's not as brave as I am. If you're really not afraid, James, perhaps you'd like to prove it tonight by pulling the flying kipper for me. All right, Henry, I shall. I'm not afraid of a few fish. What's that smell? It's the fish, of course, James. Oh, I don't want any fish on me. James is scared, scared of the smelly fish! James is scared of the smelly fish! Stop saying that! I am not! <laughs> the smell was even stronger now. James hurried as fast as he could to deliver the fish. What's that smell? That's the smell of fish. <laughs> That's the smell of James. Oh! <laughs> it looks like he's brought a present for the fat controller. Oh, smelly fish! Oh, uh, oh! I... I had a little accident. Then the fat controller arrived. Well done, James. Well done. Oh, James, what a smell. You must go to the washdown right away. Very happy to do that, sir. <laughs> At the washdown, James was very happy. He hoped he never had to see another fish for a very long time. <laughs> James, going around in a sulk being rude to other engines and taking far too long to get your trucks from A to B. You'll need to change your attitude, young steam engine. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> How am I supposed to change my attitude? What a face, James! No engine is better at making a pouty face than James is. Stop teasing! Woo-boop! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, James. That's much better. 
What do you mean? He means you're changing your attitude. Come on, James. Put a smile on that face. We've got work to do. Last one back to the shunting yard is a broken brake van. <laughs> <laughs> so James tried to change his attitude. We're, We're the, the rescue, rescue engines on Sodor for, for the day. We are very busy engines. Stand, Stand back, watch, watch out, out, make, make way. way. I hear you two have been busy. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you for sending Toby to help me, sir. He is the best rescue tram on the whole of Sodor. Thomas, you know this whole reds versus blues thing? Yes. Sorry about that, James. We should have been working together. Yes. It's better when we work towards the same goal. <laughs> <laughs>